Hello! Today I'm going to show you guys how to do a quick tutorial on how to get figures and objects to levitate in space. Uh, the first thing you want to have are two images. The image with your figure and an image of your background. Now you want to use a tripod because you want to get the exact same image so it's easy to work with. This one's off just a slight bit but we'll show you how to work with that. First thing you want to do is grab your image of your figure and drag it as a layer with this icon over here all the way over on top of your background. Now to get it to line up perfectly I'm going to go over to layers on layer 2 which is going to be your figure, the thing on top and lower opacity to like 50-ish and I'm going to zoom in and try and match up the ground because that would be easier to match the ground up And there we go, that looks about good. Use your um, eyeball over here on layer 2 to check it on and off. See, that looks about right. You go back up to your opacity, put it back up to 100. And you want to zoom into the chair because you want to get rid of the chair so that she's actually floating. To do this now, I just go over to the eraser tool over here and go up to the preferences of the eraser and just make sure your hardness is down at zero because you want as much fuzziness as you can to get it to look natural. Um, size up to around 50 should be good for this project. Um, go over and simply just start erasing. You might want to change your, the size of your brush when you get closer to her boot so you get a cleaner edge and you don't mess up. I'm not being too precise with this one though because it's just a tutorial. Um, I'm going to also show you guys another tool that you can use for this. It doesn't have to just be the eraser tool. Some people prefer the clone tool with these projects. Um, to use that, it's two up above the eraser. And to use this tool, what it does is you have to press the Alt button, Alt key, and then you get this target area going on, and you click on an area next to the area that you want to fix. So by holding Alt, I click on the area next to it, let go of Alt, and then I go over and start to draw on top of this area, and that should get rid of it. Sometimes it gets a little iffy. And I like to lower the opacity to around 60 when I do this because I don't want it to be too crisp edged. And also, um, hardness at zero again. And you're going to want to press Alt a few times to get a different reference point each time. Oh, see, like that I messed up there. But um, I generally like the eraser tool, but um, for portraits and stuff like that, sometimes the other tool works better. Now, when I erased it, it looks as though the two images are a little bit different in color, or not color, brightness. So I want to change that a little bit. It probably happened due to like a cloud moved over the sun in like one of the shots. So the only way to figure that out is by going over here with your eyeball clicker and click to see which one is lighter and it looks as though this one the lower one is so you go all the way up to image adjustments brightness and contrast and just drag the brightness over until it seems to match the ground or look close enough that looks good for now and there you go we have a floating figure in space and it looks legit so um, hope you guys take this to use and good luck